Hello everyone, Lander Gaming Studios here. In today's episode of Lander's Weird Internet Rabbit Holes, we are going to be looking at a gold mine of cringe that I have found. The gold mine I'm talking about is not my old catalog of videos, although I could also make a video about that in the future. The rabbit hole that I'm talking about is a channel owned by this teen called Cementi, or as I like to call him, Piss Ramen Boy. Piss Ramen Boy created his channel on the 9th of June 2022. However, it's possible that he might have owned another channel in the past. The first video he uploaded onto his onto the channel is a zoom bombing video. The video is mostly unwatchable, but there's not much to be missed, it's mostly just him farting into his mic during a zoom call. This video, along with most of the other videos on this channel, have their description filled with uh, random keywords. In order to get an extra boost in the algorithm. Zoom bomb, YouTube zoom rating, rating zoom meeting, zoom rating meet, zoom codes leaked, leaked Leaking Zoom codes, codes for Zoom, Zoom meeting bombings, minions in Zoom, Zooms, Zooms, trolling minion, minion laugh, minion laughing funny, minion laughing funny, laughing minion yeet, yeet minion, yeet minion song, yeet minion song rapping. Yeet rapping minion song, song minion, I count money, count money, I'm a rich minion, I count minion, yeet rap, rap, lyrics to yeet minion, yeet zoom bombing, viral memes, memes for yeet, yeet zoom bombing with minions, long video zoom compilation, zoom compilation, zoom compilation 2, zoom compilation 3, zoom compilation 4, zoom compilation 5, zoom compilation 6, zoom comp, Zoom bombing compilation, zoom rating and bombing 2022, zoom bombing rating, funny zoom bombing compilation, zooming the bomb, bomb in zoom meetings for fun, how to find zoom codes, how to find zoom links, how to find zoom meetings, how to find zoom meeting links, how to find zoom meeting codes, how to find zoom codes for zoom meetings, how to find zoom trolling links, how to find zoom codes for trolling, how to find zoom trolling codes, how to zoom bomb, how to bomb zoom meetings, how to zoom bomb meetings, how to how to zoom bomb codes, internet tricks, hacking zoom bomb meetings, zoom bombing codes online, trolling zoom meeting codes, trolling the zoom links, zoom links 2022, zoom links 2023, zoom codes 2022, zoom meetings 2022, how to find zoom codes 2022, zoom trolling codes and meeting links online. Why, why am I reading all of this? Cementi's second video is also a zoom pranking video, this time it seems to have a bit more substance, if you can say so. No, cause I was just wondering, yeah. I would love to see John Nelson completely butt ass naked. No, the- Perfect Did you just say Among Us? I'm sorry, I heard you say Among Us, now I wanna suck- We've truly found the best comedy that YouTube has to offer. And a couple of Reddit accounts that are totally not owned by Cementi had went on to share it with other Redditers. Uh, this is probably where some of this dude's first few views and attention came from. A lot of the Redditors had negative opinions to express about the video, and, you know, a, a bit of drama ensues. People like this are the absolute worst. Then there's this comment, a whole ass wall of text, which is pretty cringe since this was posted under a zoom nuke video with 518 views i'll agree with cementi on that one but then he posts cringe like this to 
respond. Oh, how do you want to ask this whole SSA? You turn on the lights on your browser. There's some interaction for you to see her. How does it feel that I'm getting more subs and views now, loser? <laughs> how do you feel about me getting 2k subs? Just wondering, that is what GLAQ said in your original comment, enjoy your maybe 500 views, when I was at 3 subs, I get that shit in an hour nowadays. Keep eating little boy, I'm only going up from here. Oh, and he also made a video later on called My Response to the Hate. And this is how the video looks. Yeah. Bro, bro sure showed those haters whose bombs. The comment section is even better than the last one. In conclusion, those first few videos gives us an insight into Piss Ramen Boy's type of videos, style of thumbnails, sense of humor, and manner of handling controversy. <laughs> So a guy who keeps posting videos of him trolling people on Zoom. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> on the 9th of July, he would uh, try something new. Catching pedos on a Michael. Let's see what Chris Hansen levels of investigation that pissed ramen boy is gonna pull off. Oh, I'm 13. Yeah, what do you want to show me? Like, my face or something? Like what? Oh, you wanna see my face? What's up, brother? <laughs> oh, you're gonna die of lung cancer, loser. You're gonna die of lung cancer. You're gonna die. Do you know what you're gonna die of? Huh? Do you know what you're gonna die of? What? Lack of bitches syndrome. To be fair, I did cherry pick those clips. Uh, he does actually catch some pretty nasty individuals in 4K, but you know, he just treats it like. The, well, the same way he treated the zoom pranking videos. After making a few more zoom and omega videos, Cementi would upload on the 18th of July a very important video in this story. One which the title of my video comes from. Eating Piss Ramen. You know it's gonna be a good video with a thumbnail like this one. In the video, this genius reuses his pee to make his meal. Water is hella expensive nowadays. I need to use something else other than water. He stores his pee inside a limited edition prime ice pop flavored bottle. The pee is then transferred to the cauldron, which is uh, used to boil the pee. Imagine the smell of that. Finally comes the time where piss ramen boy eats the piss ramen. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Oh. My. God. That was so salty, bro. Oh. My. God. Guys, I definitely did not just put it right back in the bowl when the camera was looking away. Dude didn't even have the balls to eat his ramen. I think the piss might have not even been real, considering the amount of germs going on the kitchen items would have probably rendered them unusable, and I don't think boiling water would get rid of all of the bacteria left by the piss. Although, to be fair, I I'm probably overthinking this. After that, Piss Ramen Boy would start posting trolling kids in Fortnite videos. You're your typical Fortnite garbage. The Piss Ramen channel would finally reach the 100 subs milestone, but around the same time, the Piss Ramen channel would also attract the attention of new detractors. Or should I say, haters. On the 26th of July, a small 2016 style commentary channel would upload a video reacting to and shitting on Piss Ramen Boy's Piss Ramen video. Now ladies and gentlemen, I have something, a video that's even worse than Alex confesses the furry porn. A YouTube video that crawled out of Bill Gates' slimy left testicle. I present 
eating piss ramen. During the video, Sky Bowser makes the point that Cementi didn't need his pee to make ramen, as he could have just went to his local creek or pond to get water instead. Sky Bowser also uh, gives his opinion on Cementi's other videos and his audience. Actually, no, you sound like you're gonna get ready to make a fucking Zoom call video with the fucking thud sound effect from Instagram. Oh, wait. Uh, yes. Monique, you kind of look like Boris Johnson, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, thank you! Your mama does too! No, no, seriously, my mom is not that ugly. I mean, you are something. Uh, if you use the thud sound effect that many times, you're basically admitting that your audience is only fucking eight year olds with no attention span and wicked bad ADHD. Another YouTuber would make a video about Piss Ramen Boy. Now, I was on a um, recess pool of Reddit about four or five days ago, something, something like that, looking for cringy videos, and um, this one came up. Big Boy RV only had 20 ish subscribers at the time of making that video, and he has a uh, a much more light-hearted approach to the whole thing, so no jokes about coming out of some slimy billionaire's testicles or insults towards Cementi's fan base. I mean, this man is a genius. He he knows about the reduce, reuse, and recycle. I mean, we were learning that in design technology for three years, but we never used it in that way. This new flavor can enhance people's brain waves. That it can make them pure geniuses, we can have a bunch of Albert Einsteins running around. So Samanti and his fans did not take issue with that video and did not spam its comment section with aids like they did with Sky Bowsers. On the 21st of August, Piss Ramen Boy would upload a response video to Sky Bowser. It's a very interesting video. Hey, no, tell me why I'm feeling, give me all hey, hey, give me all, all that fun. Samantha takes a pretty great offense to Skybo's or saying that he has an audience composed of eight year olds. You're basically admitting that your audience is only fucking eight year olds what, with no attention span and wicked bad ADHD. But Did you just come here, come here. did you just insult my fans? He then proceeds to call him a leafy is here clone and pull up a specific leafy clip. Is these cunty motherfuckers that try to insult people or insult things that they dislike? Or just really overall hate by saying shit like, oh, fuck this thing or fuck this dude. All of the fans of that dude is like 12 years old and shit. <laughs> I mean, this one is already annoying as fuck in real life. But this one is especially annoying on the website that we know as YouTube.com because it makes no fucking sense. Like seriously, dude, where is even the insult in this fucking insult? Like what are they saying that they don't like someone or something because another human being that quite is just not as old as them likes that certain fucking thing like what because i mean for making pretty big insults and having so strong opinions and being overall so fucking snobby about this shit i gotta say man not liking someone or something because another person that you don't particularly like likes that certain said thing sounds pretty fucking weak dude that's your idol that's your idol, the one who you copy all your content off of, the one who you base your whole entire entire personality off of, that's him completely destroying your entire argument. And that's all fine and dandy, but that clip doesn't really change the fact that, like Skybozer said, Cementi's audience is filled with retarded 8 year olds. Which I'll elaborate on in a few seconds, because Cementi has left the best for last. A diss track. Yeah. Roast about my hat, damn, that was pretty lame. Oh, Leafy clones, yeah, they all feel the same. Talk shit now, boys about to feel the pain. Your yeah, bank account look uh, like a zero. Yeah, I'll admit this video uh, serves for pretty good entertainment. If you're a eight year old cringy rice gum fan. Now, for those who don't know, rice gum is a YouTuber which tried and succeeded in becoming famous. He tried a couple different video ideas out but what mainly brought him to popularity were his commentary videos and his tracks around the time he reached the height of his popularity his content went from being kind of eh to being a just a cesspool of cringe garbage and uh oh, look for yourself oh and uh there's that one fortnite song he made spend the night for a night but rise 
this might change your life. I'm a killer. Fortnite. Fortnite. And you see, Cementi takes a lot of inspiration from Ricegum. Heck, he's probably one of his biggest fans. You can see it with the thumbnails. If you look well enough, you can also see it a little bit with their on screen personalities and attitudes. <sighs> Now, I'm really mad, cause these kids know that when it comes to dropping diss tracks, I'm the best. That is the final straw. You have pissed me off to the point, that's it bro. That's it. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's 50-50. And you got ah! paid. You got paid for the... If that dude is like 12 years old and shit. Ah! I and mean, this one is all... Chain Chain Chong, you know, I don't know what it's saying. You translated... Boy, you're telling me some guy took my hard work and content. You're basically admitting that your audience is only fucking eight year olds with no attention span and wicked bad ADHD. But... <laughs> Doing diss tracks during YouTube drama was also a thing heavily associated with rice. Even rice did shitty ramen meals. To be fair, a lot of piss ramen boys' video ideas don't come from rice gum. But you could also say that Sky Bowser is not a Leafy clone because Leafy never did a, a series on how to get hoes in a Souls-like game. After that, uh, Cementi made another uh, video calling out Sky Bowser and challenging him to a Fortnite duel, which never occurred, but whatever, enough talking about my analysis of the situation, because uh, uh, Big Boy RV, uh, the other guy I mentioned earlier, made his own. In this video, Big Boy RV goes over what has happened so far in this drama. Uh, I am... So, the whole point of him eating the pea ramen was because he couldn't afford a microphone, so he thought... He was going to save money on not using water, but in actual fact, his microphone was not broken, but actually um, turned off. So he did that video, I know it was a joke, but he did that video for no reason. Wow, big boy RV, the reason Cementi did it is clearly because he has a pee fetish. Cementi responded to that video, and at the end of his video, he promised he would make a diss track on big boy RV, but... Either the diss track got deleted, or it was never even made in the first place. These two videos are not so important and are, are kind of forgettable. You know what isn't forgettable though? The content Piss Ramen Boy was producing, like being sus with kids in Fortnite. That's quite a turn of events considering some of the Omegle videos he used to make. I'm not okay. joking, I want you. You're sus. Yes sir. Saber, we're both dead. Let's have sex in hell. Bro, he's like, hey, you can't be saying this. You can't. Hey, can you fucking hey. mom with the quote and not his? Can you suck my ass? Yeah. Sorry, You're a girl. I don't want to do anything with you. I want the men. Yeah, I didn't mention the Omegle stuff and made that EDP 445 joke for nothing. The dude also made a diss track on Vladimir Putin. And but I'm serious. I'm serious. Putin was your hairline, boy. I'm curious. So curious. You can't. I put my cock in Putin. I'm sure everyone in the Kremlin were mauling when that thing dropped. A few cringe videos later and Sky Bowser would finally upload a second Cementi video called The War. In this video, he calls Cementi and his audience gay and cancerous and then shows screenshots of interactions he had with Cementi fans and he says that the guy who has his face on Piss Ramen Boy's video is not him but another YouTuber. So yeah, there's, there's not much to add here because this is where drama ends. For now at least. the drama not much changed uh, piss ramen boy kept on posting on YouTube uh, I know he made a uh, sequel to the piss ramen video called eating the snot ramen and he also posted a lot of short videos gangster threatens me in Fortnite. milk in parentheses sussy poop in my mouth you know the usual crap Nah, I know I've spent most of the video calling Cementi gay and cringe, and while I'm not taking those words back, I've gotta say the kid's got a bit of talent. A lot of his video ideas 
come from other YouTubers, but he's still got a thing for innovation. And unlike Ricegum, he actually has a pretty decent upload schedule. His videos are relatively well put together, which makes me think there's someone helping him uh, with the editing, I mean, maybe, in, in order to pump out uh, content at this rate. Imagine being tasked with editing Kid Throws Poop at the Wall and Cops Come Story Time. Pissed Ramen Boy has also recently recovered from a strike on a video. The strike probably affected his upload schedule and probably affected his views, but this probably won't, uh, you know, harm him on the long run. Oh, and look, uh, his idol Ricegum liked one of his tweets. But all this poses an important question. What can we do to stop the person who uploads this to become the next YouTube sensation? Well, the solution to that is to bring back cyberbullying.